Uh, former um, middleweight champion uh, Andy Lee, who is also the second cousin to Tyson Fury, um, uh, I said that um, Joshua is not as mentally as strong as Fury. That's what he believes. But let's hear from the horse's mouth, you know, before we kind of proceed. God, stay blessed. Stay tuned. I think he's still an improving fighter. I think he saw a huge improvement to beat Andy Ruiz. Um, I think a little bit of inexperience, and and I think mentally he's not as strong as Tyson. And Emmanuel always said champions are built on the inside. And I can see just Tyson. I think Tyson will beat him in eight rounds. I like Anthony Joshua. I think he's a great fighter and a great champion. But I think he's a little bit inexperienced at this, not at this level, but just for years of of fighting and I think just think Tyson Fury's not I think I still think it's a great fight and a great matchup and it's the only real matchup in the heavyweight division left for both guys but I think Tyson wins in a similar fashion to what he did to Wilder you know I like and uh, Andy Lee um, I mean he's a, is a good boxing expert I mean he was a good boxer as well but um, let's not forget this is the like the second cousin to Tyson Fury okay okay he's related to Tyson Fury so what do you expect him to say and also let's not forget that he worked with uh, with uh, Tyson Fury's new trainer uh, what's his name again the uh, Stewart's uh, brother um, um yeah Stewart. yeah I don't really remember the name or you know, the first name but I you know Emmanuel Stewart is like of course uh, very popular but is this brother like who steep, you know, teaches boxers the crunk gym and you know, uh, the crunk style, and yeah, I mean they work together. So according to what I learned, like Andy Lee even like uh, advised Tyson Fury to like switch to the crunk style, you know, and you know, um, and to be down to water, and they whole plan it together, and, and they made it, they, they made it work. Uh, Andy Lee is a very like he was a very good fighter, no doubt about that. Um, I mean, a very the, the tough warrior uh, from, from Ireland, and yeah. But well, one thing is certain: uh, Fury is not as mentally strong like Joshua. Nah, man, nah, nah. But let's hear from our brother Allah Day. Allah Day. Hey, hello. Um. Um, you know, you literally said it all. Number one, what do you expect him to say? What do you expect Andale to say? That's number one. He's obviously going to say what he needs to say and that. Right, but the only thing that can actually prove anybody right or wrong, I've always said this, like, looking at this AJ Fury thing, everyone has put AJ as literally the underdog and that and that and that, which is fine. But the only thing that can prove anybody right or wrong is when they both face each other then the truth comes out that's what i'm gonna say nothing else okay i mean is an opinion i think it's good uh taj that way you're taking this let's um let's be honest here man when he said aj is not as strong as tyson fury we're gonna, we, do we have to keep going back he, say, he says mentally 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 strong uh do we have to keep going back to history <laughs> to, as in what Tyson Fury did, you know, I'm I'm tired of the old same song, song and dance with Tyson Fury. Let let go of the mental issue. That's that's already done and over with. But for them to say Tyson Fury is as strong as strong as uh, 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 mentally, uh, uh, AJ is not as mentally strong as Tyson Fury. Please, Tyson Fury went on a binge. He's a champion, which means he doesn't have the he doesn't have the mindset of a champion. If we're, if we're gonna be honest here, because nobody told him to go on that on that uh, to go on uh, the nights and uh, uh, smoking coke or whatever you, whatever you call it, you know. And then all of a sudden, like uh, that that that's like a cover up for you for you. So they won't really te they won't really test you for for the uh, for the dr alleged drug you you've been doing, drinking, taking coke. All right, let's all pull that together. Who, who's who's the weak minded who's the weak minded champion? Obviously, it's Tyson Fury. I don't want to hear that crap because every every boxer, uh, they, 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 every one of them go through a mental a mental uh, <clears throat> meltdown. You cannot say that. So 
the, 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 him saying AJ is not as mentally strong. He, he has a, I, I got. I have to counterpunch that weak statement he made because it doesn't make sense at all. And I believe a, and everybody wants to write off AJ for for I don't know what what reason because AJ <clears throat> Tyson Fury took out Deontay Wilder because what we've been saying all along. I don't care what Tyson Fury say. Deontay Wilder was never a boxer. He was a puncher. That was it. And you know what happens when you take away the punching power of a, of, a, of, a, of a puncher. He has nothing left. That's what it is. So for Tyson Fury to continue to try to make statements, then stop talking and just make the fight is what it is. They got to make the fight. Because I 100% believe AJ is Tyson's toughest match since his return to boxing. And that's going to be a hard thing for him to do, you know. Because you, you really have to think about it. Yes, he's, he's been back to the crunk, crunk gym. The crunk gym can only work for so many people. Not The, the crunk gym is not always going to work for everybody. You know? And, you're not, and Tyson Fury is not a, I'm hearing Tyson Fury is going to knock out AJ. Who said Tyson Fury is going to knock out AJ? Tyson Fury couldn't knock out Otto Wileen. Are you serious? And that's the same Tyson Fury that came in for the the same match, and just a different style up for uh, Otto Wileen. So let's not get let's not get all that, all the all those words twisted saying that Tyson Fury can knock out AJ. That's 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 really that's really shooting for the stars there. Tyson Fury can knock out AJ. Tyson Fury only knocked out Deontay Wilder because we all said it from the go. Deontay Wilder can't take a punch. I mean, if you really get if you really get dropped by uh, um, Eric Molina. What 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 else can we say that Tyson Fury is not Tyson Fury is way way stronger than Eric Molina? Come on, let's be honest with ourselves. That's where I'm gonna end it. Thanks, brother. Uh, appreciate it. And I mean, you're right, bro. You're right, bro. Like mentally strong. Like I don't understand what he means by that. In a way, even though he himself, he, you know, he's a he's been a boxer. He, he was not mentally strong like that. Like he was not mentally strong. He was just like a warrior, but not mentally strong. He was tough, but not mentally strong. I mean, and looking at Tyson Fury, mental, you know, um, advantage towards uh, towards Joshua. Like, if you look, if you if you if if we should start majority right now, I mean, I mean, out of ten, I would give Tyson Fury maybe six, and out of ten, I would give Joshua nine. You know, just for the fact that to come back from being humiliated by Andrews Jr. You know, in a way that he got. Uh, he, he he got stopped, you know. Uh, he lost, you know, in, in the way he lost, and the way uh, the day after that, people started talking all sort of smacks about Joshua, you know, all those kind of insults that he got. People started calling him that he's not good. Even Sky Sports themselves didn't really believe on Joshua. They always doubted. They always doubted. Doubted even 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 the lead up to um the Reza, uh, like a uh, re rematch. I mean, they were always doubted Joshua. Like, can he beat it? Can he do it? Can they do that? Everybody that believed Joshua said, "Oh, Reza will win. Reza will win. Reza will win. It is Reza will win. It's gonna be tough. Tough fight. Joshua cannot. Joshua, Joshua I'm afraid Joshua cannot boss. Yeah, this is a robot. All those sort of stuff that they they all, they all said about Joshua, and we even Tyson Fury himself said Joshua has nothing to offer because he doesn't know how to box. You know, he doesn't know how to move. You know, he's he's, he's gonna stand there. He doesn't know how to how to move like him. You know, he's not a good boxer. Like he, I watch all the shows, all of them, like from Deontay Wilder to Tyson Fury to every, including the uh the the mainstream media, like. But what did Joshua do? Joshua surprised them, and Joshua did nothing but uh, it gave us nothing but a, a masterpiece. And what did they say? He said, oh, you're right, you're right. All this kind of stuff, man. But looking at the mental stability and mental advantage of both of of both uh, of, of both fighters, like I'll just say, Joshua is mentally definitely mentally more stronger than uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury, people are saying he went through you know health issues and all this stuff. And, uh, I, listen, listen, listen. The guy got rich, beat uh, Vladimir Klitschko, got rich, uh, got famous, and what did he do? You know, the fame got into his head and started taking all sort of stuff. And uh, he believed that he already, he already, he already achieved, he already achieved everything. So he didn't want, he didn't, he didn't, there was no need for him to like pursue his career, like uh, you know, to like uh, for, uh, to continue, like to even defend the belt. You know, even though they had a uh, pretty much close, there was no, there, there was no reason for him to, to continue fighting. 
Just like there will be no reason for the spirit to quit fighting when he, if he beats Joshua. Like if, if it happens and he beats Joshua, he will retire. I know that. You no, know? that's the mentality. Uh, that's the that's the mentality of a champion. That's the mentality of uh, of like uh, you know a guy that just want to like achieve a little and just live the game. You know, something like that will not make you. We don't make people look at you like like one of the greats, the greatest fighters in the, in the industry. You know, so it's what it is, man. Uh, but I'd just say. What the, the 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 kind of you know uh you know mental strength you know that Joshua has I mean that kind of mental strength is not it's not easy you know it's not a it's not a it's not it's not an ordinary mental strength it's an extra extraordinary uh, mental strength you know it's extraordinary because I mean within six months he had to go back again to the person that really beat him up and humiliated him in a way that he's never been humiliated before and. For him to come back and give that per that same person a boxing maestro, for him to make everybody that doubted him realize that listen, I can go back and you know I can go back, I can get down, get back up, and you know and win. That's what he did. So stay blessed, guys. Stay on the stand, boy. Give your toes below, guys. Cheers.